What's up, my good people? The Good News Stimulus Check Lighthouse Community presents the top 10 reasons why you are not getting a $1,200 stimulus check before election day. We're gonna start now. But before we start, Please make sure to subscribe to the Stimulus Check Update Lighthouse Alert Community and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like, right? Number one. Number one. So because of this game that Congress plays called Skipping Congress, you will not get a stimulus check before the election. Here's what we mean. It's really simple. Number one. Congress is playing a game of Skipping Congress. Now this is to get the American people in an all-out desperate frenzy skipping Congress. First of all, it is important to comprehend that American people are owed multiple stimulus checks from the beginning. In the first stimulus package, CARES Act, American people are owed a second stimulus check, as well as a first one, but a second stimulus check and also a third stimulus check. If you look at the first CARES Act, it'll show you that they're owed three stimulus checks. Now it's crucial to understand that there's various periods of time that you're owed money by the American government during a lockdown. And ultimately, you will get the money retroactively <laughs> to get the American people into a desperate frenzy. Oh my God! Yeah. Because here you are six months later, still looking for the second stimulus check. No, God, please, no, no! And they conveniently said that now as they're convening, they're trying to figure out whether or not or how much you're owed for a second stimulus check when they wrote in their own law in the CARES Act that you were gonna get three in the beginning. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, they only want to provide you one check after not offering you the original three. Instead, they only gave you one of the three checks that they were supposed to have given you. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? Congress is playing a game called Skipping Congress. They are Congress, and they are playing a game of skipping. Skipping checks. No, God, please, no! No! No, God, please, no! See, Congress has revealed that they will skip you in the past, and they're also skipping you now. And they'll actually sweep the money that they owe you up under the carpet. It's called Skipping Congress, or avoiding to pay you, the American people. See, initially, the first stimulus package was to provide you three stimulus checks. We've covered that, right? Now they provided you only one check and here it is right before the election. Now the stimulus package was to provide you three stimulus checks and they provided you one stimulus check. Now, of course, if you are an adult dependent on SSI, S SSDI railroad benefits or veterans benefits, then you, you know, and you're not appearing on someone else's income tax return, then you got also one check, or maybe you didn't, but Congress is playing a game of skipping Congress. Ah! Number two. Now, because of this game that Congress plays called avoiding Congress, you will not get a stimulus check before the election. And here's what we mean. <laughs> a demand to pay taxes must equally be met with a money supply to the people that the taxes are being demanded to pay. Here's what we mean. If there's a lockdown placed on the people that pay taxes in the past, that tax money goes into government coffers. So that when there's a time where the government shuts down and society shuts down and the economy shuts down, that money supply in those government coffers should be used to supply the people with the money they need to pay their bills. I am the one, the way your son don't need it's simply a game of this equals this. You can't have one without the other. So, one out of the three checks that you were paid is insufficient supply to satisfy the need of the lockdown. Now, the United States is expected to fulfill the lockdown demand on the people with a money supply for the people. But, we're playing a game now of avoiding Congress. <coughs> or a Congress that avoids the inevitable. So here you have avoiding Congress who has skipped several months and not giving the United States people the stimulus check that they need. Now today, as we speak, the third stimulus check is extremely essential because the bills kept coming to the people. Wait a minute. Who are 
are you? Now, if there was a second stimulus package arrived on and agreed upon, it would have ended in December anyway, if they were simply to agree on the darn thing. So today, you have no stimulus check prepared for you. On January 1st, you have no mortgage security, you have no eviction defense, and you have no enhanced unemployment or FPUC or eviction moratorium or any type of improved unemployment benefits. Even if they alter the name to LWA or lost wage benefits by executive order. <laughs> it still would end in December. So they'll be right back to convening and trying to agree upon something they already said they agreed upon in the beginning. So after mid-January, you have no risk pay or hazard pay for any of these amounts of times. American people require this relief. American individuals need stimulus checks if they are going to be on lockdown in January. American people need stimulus checks if they are going to be locked down in February. And American people need stimulus checks to be locked down in December. On top of that, American people require FPUC when FPUC expires. Ultimately, American people need to have these money provision plans passed by executive order before the debt overwhelming happens, not when the debt overwhelming is occurring. Now, Congress, playing the game of avoiding Congress, requires to get to passing those expenses today or those bills today, and you will get this relief only if they agree upon it. But they already agreed upon three checks in the beginning. Why don't they just give you the three checks that they agreed upon? But Congress is playing the game of skipping Congress and avoiding Congress. Number three. Now, because Colorado had the audacity to actually be good to their people and do this one action, no one wants to follow Colorado. And this is the reason you will not get a stimulus check before the election, as well as no one here in the United States wants to follow other countries. Other countries like the UK have paid their workers 80% of their workers salary on top of unemployment since the pandemic hit. Denmark, 75% of their workers salary on top of unemployment since the pandemic hit. South Korea, 70% of their workers salaries on top of unemployment since the pandemic hit. The Netherlands, 99% of their workers salary since the pandemic hit on top of unemployment. Canada, 2000 per month on top of unemployment since the pandemic hit. Australia, 1000 per month on top of unemployment since the pandemic hit. But the U.S., who doesn't want to follow any other country, has only paid their workers, their workers, $1,200 in one check. It may take months to arrive, but they promised them three of them. Wow, America doesn't want to follow anybody or do their people as good as any other country does. On top of the fact that they don't even want to follow one state that decides to break off in their own country called Colorado. Let's get into it. <laughs> Top Democrats in Colorado's audacity. Now, leading Democrats are saying that Joe Biden will be the next president of the United States and that it makes more strategic sense for the Democrats to pass the stimulus package next year in 2021 when the Republicans have less negotiating power. But the American people are sick and tired of the politicians playing their political games at the cost of the American people. <coughs> now, the government of Colorado said that Washington, D.C. has actually failed to support their hardworking American people. So the hardworking American people of Colorado, by executive order of their Colorado governor, boldly is doing their part to assist their own Coloradoans. Colorado will be issuing their own stimulus checks to 435,000 of their own citizens. It will just be $375 per person. This is good to see that there are still some good people that are truly trying to do their part. Wait a minute, who are you? By opening up their government, government coffers and paying the people what they're already owed because those same people, taxes were taken from them out of their check when they buy, when they sell, and they're just getting the money back that they paid into the system already. It is undoubtedly unfortunate to see how little the federal government is providing for the American people at this time. <laughs> Number four. Nancy Pelosi leaked a letter that she privately sent to Steve Mnuchin. And this is the reason you will not get a stimulus check before the election. <laughs> the general public letter. Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi's letter fight. Nancy Pelosi, of course, is the Democrat in charge of the stimulus package negotiation. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin is the Republican representative in charge of the settlements. Now, Nancy Pelosi sent a letter to Steve Mnuchin 
at 12.05 a.m. on Thursday in October, the last of October, requesting Mnuchin to answer some issues about the stimulus package first thing on Thursday morning. So a couple of hours later, Nancy Pelosi informed the media that the Democrats are still awaiting a reaction from Mnuchin and the Republicans. So Steve Mnuchin thought that Nancy Pelosi was trying to shine in public on him and make him look bad. And this upset Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin. So Steve Mnuchin's direct quote was that Nancy Pelosi sent a letter to his office at midnight and all at once launched it to the press. So Steve Mnuchin said, I can regrettably only conclude that this is a political stunt by Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi's letter stated that the Republicans contradicted the Democrats' strategy on testing, tracing, and treatment. So this letter caused an impasse in the stimulus package negotiations. And guess what? You're not going to get a stimulus check. Because... Number five. Now, Steve Mnuchin was so enraged by the letter that Nancy sent that he took up a whole day and halted many, many agreements and connections that could have been made. And this is the reason that you are not going to get a stimulus check before the election. <laughs> the public letter. Steve Mnuchin's letter. Public response. So Steven Mnuchin reacted by stating, due to the fact that you, Nancy Pelosi, sent me this letter, Steven Mnuchin decided to make it public where the negotiations sit. Steven Mnuchin said, I feel obliged to openly react to you, Nancy Pelosi. Steven Mnuchin says that the Republicans did, in reality, accept the Democrats' plan for testing, tracing, and treatment, including the quantity of cash to be invested and how the money would be spent. The only distinction or difference, he said, was that Nancy Pelosi wished to spend money upgrading the public health data system, which Stephen Mnuchin thinks ought to be dealt with in a different bill. <laughs> but not in the COVID-19 bill right now that millions of Americans need. Stephen Mnuchin continued to say that you, Nancy Pelosi, I would also like to highlight that while you hold up additional funding for testing and vaccines, the administration has made unbelievable progress financing both these areas with previous funding. Now, these efforts have actually been led by hardworking officials in the DOD and Health and Human Services. You, Nancy Pelosi, should be thanking them instead of slamming them for their hard work in the efforts to get testing and tracing correct. <laughs> Stephen Mnuchin publicly said to Nancy Pelosi that we have unspent money offered from the previous stimulus package to provide now a stimulus check right now. The letter by saying, you, Nancy Pelosi, declined to support airline workers for a second round of PPP to assist small businesses. Additional stimulus checks that we can money by using currently approved money and funds that we have not yet already spent. Money they haven't spent because they haven't given the American people their second and third checks. Your all of nothing technique, Nancy Pelosi, is harming hardworking Americans who need assistance now, Nancy Pelosi. Now, Nancy Pelosi reacted to Mnuchin's letter by stating, it is so disappointing that Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin lost his time on this letter or wasted time on this letter instead of working on the stimulus act. Number six. Nancy Pelosi has ambitious plans for 2021 only. And this is the reason that you will not get a stimulus check before the election. <laughs> Nancy's ambitious plans for 2021. Nancy Pelosi says that her priority is to pass a stimulus package prior to Joe Biden getting into office in January. Nancy says that she wants Joe Biden to deal with a clean slate and get the stimulus package out of the way due to the fact that they, her and Joe Biden, have a lot of ambitious plans for 2021. These plans consist of and include infrastructure spending, spending on environment modifications, and altering campaign funding rules. Nancy Pelosi plans and promises that her actions with Joe Biden for the coming year are going to be. Notice these are not big plans for stimulus checks for the American people. Number seven. High ranking Democrats are blocking your stimulus package. They do not want you to have a stimulus package before the election. 
And this is the reason that you are not going to get a stimulus package before the election. No, God, please, no, no. High ranking Democrats are saying that it would technically make more sense to wait until next year to pass a stimulus package when the Republicans have less negotiating power. Speaker Pelosi is the head of high ranking Democrats. And Speaker Pelosi and her Democratic co-workers state that the $1.8 trillion or $1.9 trillion or billion dollar proposal from the Trump's administration doesn't consist of sufficient money for state and local governments. It lacks financing or planning for COVID-19 testing, tracing, and surveillance. It does not broaden the child tax credit or the earned income tax credit. It does stop working to provide adequate securities for tenants who are at risk of being kicked out of their homes and apartments. And it does not protect workers or offer adequate help to child care programs. It does not do enough to assist small businesses. It provides no funding for state and local governments to ensure safe voting. And it jeopardizes the completion of the accurate census. But no one saying anything about the second and third stimulus check money that was set aside and allotted for the second and third stimulus check that you didn't get as the American people. Number eight. President Trump promises that you will receive a very fat stimulus check after the election only. And this is the reason that you will not receive a stimulus check before the election. <laughs> President Trump promises. President Trump says that after he wins the elections, that we're going to go huge on a stimulus check. cities and states that's all she is interested in trump stated she is not interested in assisting american people president trump says after the election we will get the very best stimulus package that you've ever seen trump continued i believe we are going to reclaim our home because of nancy pelosi alone it is highly not likely the republicans will reclaim the house which has actually been under democratic control because the 2018 midterm elections made it that way but political report predicts that democrats will expand their majority in 2020. now nancy pelosi called trump delusional after he made the very same forecast last week throughout the last presidential debate the coronavirus pandemic and associated organization closures ravaged the u.s economy leading to millions of job losses earlier this year the nation has actually seen four successive months of job gains triggering the unemployment rate to be up to 7.9% in September. However, the information has actually evidenced a slowing recovery and economists have revealed concerns about the state of the economy without more fiscal support. But the White House and Democrats have worked out for months on another round of stimulus without an all one saying anything about the second and third stimulus check money that was set aside and allotted for the second and third stimulus check that you didn't get as the american people and it appeared significantly unlikely that both sides would not concern an agreement prior to november 3rd even prior to trump's remarks on last tuesday after <laughs> number nine some senate republicans block your stimulus and this is the reason you will not get a stimulus check before the election. <laughs> Some Senate Republicans have opposed the White House's $1.8 trillion offer in negotiations with Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats. And it is not clear whether the bipartisan stimulus deal would be able to pass the upper chamber, even if the White House and the Democrats were to reach an agreement today. Now, in spite of Trump's optimism, It is unclear whether the two sides, Democrats and Republicans, will have the ability to reach a agreement and contract following the election. Either the potential customer for an offer or supporters for an offer will undoubtedly depend upon who wins the White House and whether the GOP keeps control of the Senate. Trump has regularly tracked Democratic nominee Joe Biden in nationwide and battlefield state ballots. As Americans, give him bad marks for his handling of the coronavirus pandemic. <laughs> so there is no hope of a stimulus package passing prior to the elections now. It's simply a concern of whether the stimulus package 
was going to be passed in November, in December, in January, or February, which is coming. Now, this the response or this response will be dependent on who is the president, who controls the House and who controls the Senate. The election is less than a week away, which means another round of stimulus would take several months to materialize. After confirming Amy Coney Barrett into the Supreme Court, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell from Kentucky, a Republican, announced that the Senate would be recessed up until November 9th, <laughs> which is after the election. The hiatus indicates that the next stimulus bill will almost certainly not pass before the election and settlements will most likely be delayed up until a minimum of January 2021, according to Garrett Watson, a senior policy analyst at the Tax Foundation. But no one saying anything about the second and third stimulus check money that was set aside and allotted for the second and third stimulus check that you didn't get as the American people. Number 10. Now this is the final reason COVID-19 is mutating and becoming stronger and breaking off into different strands of itself. And this is the reason you will not get a stimulus check before the election. <laughs> COVID-19, the disease itself, is now mutated. COVID-19 has mutated once again. A brand new strain is spreading out across Europe in the United States and other countries have reached a record high. The COVID-19 scenario has now mutated again in Europe. Researchers found this brand new strain that has its own hereditary signature. This brand new strain was not common prior to June. It has actually now increased to 50 of the COVID infections in Spain, in the UK, in Switzerland, in Ireland, and in the Netherlands. Oh my God! Wow! It's actually already typical in France, the Netherlands, and Norway. Scientists are studying whether this mutated strain spreads faster and is more deadly than the previous strain. Keep in mind, that we now have numerous strains of COVID-19 distributing and infecting people in Europe. Oh my God! Wow! In the United States, we reported a record high everyday case on Thursday of 971 individual deaths and a reported 88,521 new cases. Oh my God! Wow! This, of course, is according to the John Hopkins University expert talent. They're saying that daily fatalities are expected to triple in the United States during this winter. Now, this is the top 10 reasons why you're not getting a $1,200 stimulus check before election day. Wait a minute. Who are you?